What's up? I'm alright, man. How are you doing? Ah, uh, not bad. Uh, how have you been? How are you? And uh, well, what's going on? I've been okay. Hey, uh, I've been uh, based in Zim. I haven't gone out. I'm I'm still here. That's usually the first question people ask me. I've been here. Okay, yeah. you've been here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, where have you been hiding? Well, um, <laughs> besides being a musician, uh, uh-huh. I'm also a, a, a systems engineer, a computer engineer. Okay. So that's that's what I do. I've, I I run a company called CyberCard. All right. And uh, when IT, we create uh, software, Android apps, and the like. Um, that's that's one of my companies. The other one is called Mutapa Fusion. Okay. It's an energy company where we're patenting a new technology. Okay. Yeah. So that's uh, that's been keeping me very busy. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. yeah. And um, that's probably why a lot of people haven't heard from me in a while. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's why you're playing hide and seek on us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. A little bit like that, but you know, music is always a passion. It's 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 always in me. Songs are always coming out and the like. So when when a song comes out, I write it down. Okay. Yeah. So um, once you're a musician, you never stop being a musician. So uh-huh. you're always writing songs, always you know playing them on guitar at home and the like. Uh-huh. And then um, obviously, what then happens is that eventually you then uh, are forced to record those songs and get them out. So um, uh, I'm actually planning to record my next album right now. Okay, um, yeah. okay. So uh, I j- I just want to say to you, welcome to Power FM. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, so much. Uh, when was the last time that uh, you've been here? Ah, uh, it's been more than more than five years. More than five yeah, years. More than five years. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah it's, it's been a while. <laughs> All right. Nice. Uh, so, uh, for the benefit of uh, the people who are listening, maybe they're actually getting to hear about uh, the name. Uh, the your name for the first time that is mm-hmm. especially uh, our Ama 2000s uh, yeah. that is yeah maybe they, they're hearing the name <laughs> David Chifuye say for the first time yeah. uh, let's go back to primary school uh, talking about uh, that, that primary school essay where uh, the question would be like uh, to, to describe yourself can, can you describe yourself yeah that is okay. so th- that's the question for you can you describe who uh the man david chifunye say is yeah, especially for the, the first timers who may not know who we are okay, okay. yeah 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 um <clears throat> okay um david chifunye say, basically i was um uh raised in in harare i'm a harare Harry, Harry guy. Yeah, Hararian. Uh, yeah, Hararian. <laughs> okay. Um, and I, and um, I went to primary, Vanana Primary. Okay. Um, my my character is I'm 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 actually quite a quiet guy. All right. Um, uh-huh. Very quiet. If you if you met me as I was growing up, you would never think that I was a musician. <laughs> um, so All right. I'm that guy who was in primary, very quiet. Mm-hmm. Um, but when it came to things about music. That's mm-hmm. when people would see me during the term. Mm-hmm. So when it came to things like Christmas uh, carols and the like, my music teacher would always pick me up. David, you're coming to play. All right. So that's when people would just know that there's a guy called David when you say in the school. But the rest of the year, I was so quiet. Uh-huh. So, um, but I, I'm I'm born uh, in a musical family, uh-huh. um, artistic family rather. Uh-huh. Uh, my dad was a playwright. My mom was also a, an actor. So we, there's a lot of art in our family. Okay. Uh, so. That genetics you can't run away from the genetics. It's going to express itself in you. Okay. So that's what that's what happened to me. So from a young age, um, I was in Japan as well in my primary school. Okay. So that's where a lot of the art that was in me then got um, refined. I'd okay. say because right. Japan actually refines your art to a place where your confidence is out there. So I was, I was performing from a very young age. All right. Um, uh, so that's basically my primary school, high school. Um, I was also very quiet. Uh-huh. Uh, only I think uh, in in my O levels, that's when I I then started uh, because of the music we used to listen to in those days. I started rapping as well. That's when I started writing most of my songs. Okay, if you can tell us uh, the schools that you went to for your primary as well as your your secondary mm-hmm. education. I went to Vanona Primary School, um, and then I also went to Vanona High School. Okay. So what what it was like is our house was right in the middle of Vanona Primary School in Vanona High School. Okay. So I should down by when you're in primary, you uh-huh. just get out of the gate and you walk to the left. A uh-huh. couple of minutes, you're, you're at primary school. All right. Second year in high school, you just get out of the out of the house, uh-huh. you, you turn to the right, and right. You, you're you're walking just a few minutes. You're at high school, so uh, it was very close. I just used to walk 
to mm-hmm. school and back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what, what kind of a student were you uh, back in uh, be it primary school and uh, high school? If you can tell us that. I think anyone who knew me in primary school and high school would probably describe me as a nerd. I was, uh, <laughs> I was quite a nerd. <laughs> All right. All right. I didn't come out and engage for money. I'm always on my schedule. In that, I didn't you know those pilot bags. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the kind of you know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know the nerd science club kind of guy and the like. All right. Yeah. Oh, so basically that was you. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. And uh, which music did you grow up listening to? And if you can uh, give us some of uh, the artists that you grew uh, listening to, uh, locally or internationally. Well, around the era, the the. The era that I grew up used to listen to, the, um, that's when when I Tupac, B.I.G. Okay. You know, that's that's the time we grew up. So that's the music I used to listen to. Uh-huh. Um, uh, locally, locally, I know during the time when uh, starting to explore music locally, um, there was another Princeton die, uh-huh. on a fortune, fortune parrots. I you had, you had uh-huh. um, uh, on a piece of ebony. Okay. Those are the guys who were like on on the radio at those times. Okay. Um, that's that's what I used to listen to. But but also, um, I used to listen to a lot of music. My parents used to listen to when I'm driving. So when I, all of them took the all all that music. Um, I loved it. Uh-huh. I loved m- music in general. I actually just listen to music and appreciate every genre. Because when I'm listening to music, I'm listening to the delivery of it, the instruments and everything like that. Okay. Yeah. And uh, locally, do you have any uh, specific any specific artists whom you looked up to? Like uh, maybe when you're growing up, you're like, uh, I think one of these days I would want to be like uh, so and so. Or maybe like you've mentioned, mm-hmm. uh, the likes of uh, your Princeton Dyes, mm-hmm. uh, your Fortune Parutas. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, if you can tell us those artists, the specific artists that inspired you to be in the industry. Well, um, I think the 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 artist that that inspired me most was was Oliver Mtukudzi, uh-huh. because of the. Uh, the fearlessness that he has when he's performing, the he owns his art. So every time I listen to his music, I can tell that uh, because 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 I play instruments, I can I can hear the instruments, I can I can feel the the um, the art flowing through those through the music. And so um, during those days, I used to listen to that a lot, and I I would, I would aspire to be like that. Um, I know the genre of music was completely different from what I from what I do, but. I think it's the art, the art form, the expression of what he was feeling, the um, the imagination that he had, that he delivered through his music, was 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 what actually inspired me to then uh, get into music. I'd say. Okay, yeah. uh, nice. I, as LT, I thought that it is maybe the the, the women, the, the girls, who inspired mm-hmm. you to get into the industry. That that's what I just thought. But I... <laughs> <laughs> no, I was I was seriously nerdy. You know, I was I was so nerdy that you know, in, as, as I started uh, upper six, uh-huh. you know, everyone in 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 school was like. There's this new guy in the school. Have you checked about? <laughs> but I've been there since for one. That's how many I was. People didn't even. I was invisible. So all right. Yeah, all right. All right. So, uh, if you can take us uh, through your first uh, project as an artist, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, if you can take us through that. Whether it was an album, an an, an EP, or maybe it was a single. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my first, my very first recording was um, on an album called The Future. Okay. Um, it was a compilation done by Shamiso Studios. Okay. Um, and um, they they revolutionized the way people had got access to music because in that time they were saying let's open our studio up for free. People come and they'll actually record, and then we'll create a compilation. Uh, and because they were recording artists for free who come there and got the passion, uh-huh. uh, they they allowed artists to get a opportunity to record in studios that way otherwise expensive. Okay. So that's where I actually recorded um, Taoyana, um, uh, producer was Delani Makalima, uh, one of the studios, Gilbert Mubarak. That, that was my first track, which okay. was on the album called The Future. All right. Yeah. And uh, if you can tell us uh, the other tracks which were part of the album as well, apart from uh, Taoyana. Um, oh, there, there's, there's so many artists. It was like, it was, um, 
you had uh, groups like Guess. Um, you had Alexio Kawara. Okay. Uh, Amai. You had Kingpin on that album. Uh-huh. You had Mad Flavor. Uh-huh. Um, uh, you know, they, they, I think that that album had so many great artists. Roy and Royce. Like CDs was there. Okay. Um, it it was it was the album that actually opened up people's minds to say, you know what, people can actually uh, produce music in this generation that is different from the music we have on the market at the moment. All right. And it actually can be really good music, and it actually created a new genre of music called urban groups. All right. Yeah. So well, what what is it that inspired uh, the gem uh, Toy and I? would want to know okay <laughs> <laughs> the, the 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 song tiny is actually a traditional uh it's a traditional song i was i was part of the bridal party for one of my my cousin's wedding uh-huh. and uh you know you have the whole wedding thing and then you're going to the to the home when you're arriving there the old ladies were singing the song but but when i was you know in this combi when you're arriving and i and and all i could hear was what they were singing on a hip hop track. All right. Yeah. And the, and immediately I wrote the song down and I was like, okay, this this is this traditional song. Uh, there's so much more and even the message that it was it was giving. So, um, that was I was still in high school. I think I was in form four. Okay. And then I I, I kept the song and then um, I, I then wrote the words to the the whole the whole full song the the, the verses and then I, but I didn't have a place to record it. Uh-huh. So then I was looking for studios to go and record, but then there was people, every studio I went to was like, uh, "If you don't play Muse, uh-huh. we're not going to record you. We're not going to record you. There is no market for that." So <laughs> okay, so so the the doors were pretty much closed. All right. Yeah. So um, eventually, when when I, how I actually found Shamiso Studios, I was walking around in town. Uh-huh. Um, and I was looking for studios, just asking around, guys, uh, where's the next studio? And I'll be told by the studio, and I'll go, and then I'll ask, and they'll tell me, yeah, okay. yeah your music, hip hop, yeah, no marketing. Yeah. <laughs> and that's right. how I just by chance walked into Shamiso Studios and they were actually recording. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so was it there and there, Shamiso saying to you, ah, I think we can record this? Um, what happened is that, that that day when I when I got to the studio, they said, uh, yeah, okay, we could, we would like to record. And then uh, they said, what song do you have? And then I had another, I had a, a, another rap song that I'd prepared. I sang it. He said uh, to Delani, he was, he was the producer then. Tell me, Makalim. He said, yeah, that's a nice song. Uh, you can come back tomorrow and record it. Uh-huh. Uh, but you can just chill out in the studio, watch the guys who are recording and the like. So, I, so I was in the studio watching people recording. Then he asked me, where do you stay? And I was like, I stay in Venona. And then. Um, he he was staying in um, Groombridge at that time. Okay. So, so we took the same combis. Right. So then we, we he said just just wait and then we'll go home together. So we're on the same combi. And then he said, so what? Do you have any other songs? And I was like, yeah, there's this song I've wanted to record for the longest time. Mm-hmm. And then he said, sing it for me. And we were at the back of the combi. I remember I started singing the song. Like, no, do your heads. We put not your heads in the combi. <laughs> so he was like, no, forget the song that you sang before. That's the song we're recording tomorrow. Okay. And that's the song we recorded the next day. And uh, who is the lady on on the song? Um, the the first the the remix has got two ladies on it. Uh-huh. Uh, 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 let's talk about the the first one. First okay. film, yeah. The, uh, the, the first, original version. Uh, the of, original version. Yeah, yeah. On the chorus, there is a lady called I and I. I and I. Aya, yeah. And uh, she's from the group I and I. Uh, her name is I. So how did you hook up with uh, with her? To uh, be on the jam. In fact, when I got to the studio, they were actually recording that day. Okay. Yeah. So the, the I and I. Yes. Group. All right. Recording. All right. So yeah. so that's how I actually met them. The next day when I came. I was supposed to find someone to come and sing the chorus for me. Uh-huh. And um, I had asked my sister, can you go sing? She was like, of course, I'll come and sing for you. But then last minute, she got called for an agent thing. And then she, she had to go. So now when I got to the studio, I didn't have anyone who could sing that part for me. So do the like, chorus for yeah. you. <laughs> I was like, uh, I, 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 I was going to come with my sister last minute. She needed she need to go somewhere urgently. So I don't have anyone. So uh, I was in the studio and she's like, okay. Oh, um, and then Delaney was like, could you sing it? I said, no, oh, it's simple enough. And she sang it. Okay. Yeah. And so then she was also on the remix as well. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's how the, the jam came out. 
yeah, that's how that's how it was released. Then it became popular, and then uh, we then decided I was going to then move on to do an album, uh-huh. and then we then recorded an album, and then we did a remix with with Aya with uh, 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 Sniper, Sniper Star as well. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So so it 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 um it that's how it that's how it evolved and it kept on going. Okay. Uh, mm. Nice. So, the the remix is part of uh, the album that, that you did after that the single came out. Yes. Which was part of uh, a compilation. Yes. So, The Future was a compilation which had multiple uh, multiple artists. Artists, yeah. And then I went on to do the album called Tarene, which okay. was my own album. Uh, which yeah. year was it? Uh, if you can remember. Yeah, I'm right. It's so, so, so long ago. <laughs> the, the years. I, th- okay. I think it must have been... Um, 2000 and 2001 or 2002. 2001, 2002. Yeah, yeah, and uh, what was the name of the album? It was the, that one I just called it Tyranny because Tyranny was going to be the, was the title track of it. Okay. Yeah. And uh, if you can also take us through the album, uh, mm-hmm. which tracks were there and uh, which one did the most for you? Okay, that, that album had uh, Tyranny, which, which, which did very well. Um, I also did Quiet, a song uh-huh. that, uh, gospel song that I sang with Black City Sweknika. All right. Um, then I had a song Dewey that I'd sang with, with Sunny. Um, I had uh, Apana Chakaipa, which was a track we did together at Mad Flavor. Um, yeah, there, there, were, there were there were quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of tracks there. Um, but I, I would say Tayane and Kwaeza did did do the most did the most in terms of. Uh, uh, opening up the sphere of of uh, the tracks of music, uh-huh. yeah, and people people were listening to that, and they were, yeah, they, were, they they responded very well to those songs. And uh, if you can remember the first time that uh, the jam was played on 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 air, that is, and yeah. uh, the DJ who introduced the jam on uh, on the, on, the, on the radio station, uh, I think the first time it was played on air must have been Innocent Schumer. Uh, okay, those days he was. He was also part of uh, the movement to mm-hmm. get young people on the radio, um, and and so he would he he would he would usually get first pick of these songs and try and push them as much as possible because then there was a lot of international music playing. So to actually get local music playing, you had to be um, uh, deliberate about it. Right. Yeah. And so Innocent Shuma pushed a lot. Okay. So, and uh, shout out to Innocent Shuma. He's yeah, still with yeah. us uh, right here at Power FM. Also, also <laughs> a good friend of mine. <laughs> and uh, so where were you when uh, you had that uh, your, your track was actually playing on radio? And uh, if you can also get to tell us how you felt, uh, yeah, the feeling. The feeling is really undescri- It's It's difficult to describe, eh? Uh-huh. Um, I know I, I first heard the track on radio uh one of these evenings when i was i was driving home okay uh, and uh, i had this little three to three and i was driving home and i heard it on radio and i just <laughs> i just, i remember i was parked by, at groom bridge and then i just just listened to the the track for quite a bit You're like what a whole lot of feelings going through you you know um, <laughs> and you know when the dj then says oh, this is a young guy david from you say you know you you actually uh for a second one day is actually is it actually that's actually me? Yeah. Okay. So, and it ha- and it happens all the time when you hear your track on radio. Uh-huh. It doesn't it doesn't stop. You still uh-huh. get that shock. Because some, some some artists who came through on the show were saying that they they cried and all those sorts of things. So, <laughs> <laughs> if you can tell us, yeah. uh, like, well, what you did exactly? Maybe um, jammed off uh, the, 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 the the car seats or something. <laughs> you know, you know the, the thing yeah. is that I had to park the car. I had to park my Green Ridge and then I just, you know, I just listened to my track, you know. And I was like, wow, this is actually playing on radio. My track is actually playing on radio. I think the people who, who got the high, higher shock are my parents when they when they heard it on radio. When they, my, they heard your yeah, name. Yeah. They were like, what? This guy, because I I tried not my best not to tell them I'd record the song, all right, so that they they hear it uh, when it plays on radio first. Yeah. Uh-huh. But uh, but uh, you know I couldn't keep the secret. I played it at my sister's wedding, and that's the first time everybody in my family heard it. They they didn't even know I'd recorded it. Uh-huh. So were, were they supportive? Uh, talking about your love for music, or they were like, ah, my son, I need you to go to school. Yeah, funny story. Um, 
my parents, as I said, are uh, were, were artists, it, it, deep it, it, artists. It, it, yeah, yeah. But they were also uh, deep in education. Uh-huh. My dad was permanent secretary for education at that time. Uh-huh. So they were both uh, uh, very deep education guys. Mm-hmm. Um, but when I then I was like, ah, you know, um, I really want to. When they asked me, you know, you know that that conversation where you have with the parents, when yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah. You know, six there. So what do you want to do? <laughs> exactly I between remember, music yes. and uh, they didn't even say music. All right. Were, so what do you want to do in life? All right, yeah, because okay. They want, they want to know what, what's your plan. Uh huh. And then I said, I was sitting at the back, I know, uh, right at the back seat and right in the middle, and I said, I want to be a rapper. And I could literally <laughs> see my parents face each other. You know, you know, they look each other, they look at each other in shock. Yeah. And say, ah, what, that's happening. Yeah. You know? And then for the rest of the, the the trip, they were quiet. And then they're like, uh, "Okay, how do we handle it?" So eventually, they, they they spoke to me and said, "Okay, look, you know, we are also artists, uh-huh. but we are into education. Mm-hmm. You know, our jobs are uh, in education, but we are artists. And when we bring the art, we can do that because you can do your art part time." Um, I didn't receive it very well that day, but. Uh, the next couple of uh, days, I, I figured out what they were talking about. And I was also very passionate about technology, IT. Okay. So then I was like, well, I'm, I'm also going to pursue that. And okay. that's that's when I, I finished my my high school. Then I then I did a course called Microsoft Certified Systems Engineering. Right. So that when I then got that certificate, then that's when I started then looking. Before uh, I started looking for a job, I was like, uh, I'm going to try and record this music so that if I then get into the job and I don't have the space to do that, uh-huh. I'll have already done this passion that I need to do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, great. So, how far true is it that uh, the video for the jam, uh, Tao and I made it to a couple of uh, international uh, television stations? I, I I saw there's certain article that I saw saying that it was at one point in time played on on, on Channel O. That's how big it was. Yeah. How far true is that? Yeah, it actually played uh, on Channel O quite quite a few times. It was it was one of the first Zimbabwean videos to play to and be big on Channel O. Is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah it was. And they actually then uh-huh. uh, came to Zimbabwe to do a documentary about the the urban grooves because okay. of that video. Right. And then we did a whole interview where they interviewed myself and other urban grooves artists. Yeah. All right. So how did you become part of uh, their their playlist? I would want to know. Um, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> so, so, so the, so, how, how, how it got there? I'm not hundred percent sure, uh-huh. um, but I, but I think, uh, I think there's because between the director of the video, Marion Kunonga, and the owner of the studio, uh, Gilbert Mbawiro, um they pushed to get that video uh, to South Africa. It was blowing up in Zimbabwe, and then. Uh, I'm not. I, I wouldn't be able to tell you exactly what happened, uh-huh. but um, the video was was good. The music was good, and so uh, how they submitted it there, I'm not sure. But I just found it playing on on channel, and I was I was also uh, surprised when I saw it on channel play. Okay. Yeah. So the dynamics. I think music works best when when people are com- compartmentalized. Uh-huh. If I'm an artist, and I focus on my art, I give the best that I can in terms of the art. Whoever's focused on doing the production of the music is doing the very best on the music. Whoever's doing the videos is doing the very best. Whoever's doing management. So when all those things are working together, the product goes out to uh-huh. the, the furthest that it can go. All right, so who shot the video? It was shot by Marion Kunonga. Marion Kunonga. Yeah, yeah she's, a, she's a film, she's a Melbourne filmmaker. Okay. Yeah. And uh, she's the one who wrote the script as well. Yeah, she 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 did the script as well. Okay. And then uh, she she literally called us and said, "Okay, she she and the the studio owner Gilbert Moira, they uh, they talked to the script. They let me know what what it was about. And then the day they just said, "Okay, let's come do the video." Um, and I remember that day it was raining, um, so I just drove to the location. Uh, in my I got out of the car. There was nobody. All right. And then. Uh, she just came out. Um, I hadn't seen anything. She says, "Guys, all right, get it the video." And within two minutes, the place was full. Uh, and that's how we shot the video. It looks like everybody was there for like hours. Everybody <laughs> came within a couple of minutes. Everybody was there. <laughs> hey, the the was whole fun. video was done. Yeah, the video was done. We had so much fun. It was so much fun. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. I thought yeah. maybe it took you some some weeks or maybe a month. 
No, we shot that in a day. We shot in that a in day, a day. And yeah. It was yeah, the whole scene, the whole wedding scenes, everything we shot that in a day. Oh. Space of a couple of hours. Is it? Yeah. And oh. but but the song was playing loud, everybody was enjoying you actually if you if you didn't know, uh if you if you if you walked by an hour before we were shooting the video uh-huh. and you walked back, you'd you'd be freaked out because suddenly there's this wedding happening. Uh-huh. But you walked past an hour before and there was no wedding. <laughs> It was literally raining, <laughs> so that, that, that's how that's how excited people are about the track and, and you know, uh, yeah. creative the the yeah. video wise. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, so we've got a couple of uh, people who are watching us live on our Facebook page, and I uh, just want to send a big shout out to them. Uh, Foden Alaba, shout out to you, Cherit Matimbe, uh, Kumandati Makanaka Chinyani, Desmond D K M Konyo, Wayne Tonderai, uh, shout out to Mofela Goma, shout out to you as well, Fungai Jenga, Godfrey Mafuta, Rodrik. Uh, and also watching us on our Facebook page, uh, Linda Nyanete Mureriwa uh, Susan uh, Meriki uh, is also watching us. Uh, my MJ Shalina Deliwen Kwena, uh, Rusby S. Natasha Nyapokoto, she's always logged on. And uh, who else we have? I've got uh, Rusby, Shouty Rusby Kim, uh, we see you as well. So you can also get a check us out. That's on our Facebook page, which is uh, Power FM. As uh, well with that, so you can also get to watch us live and uh, get a check out. Uh, the man David Chifunyise wearing uh, his nice snapback, yeah, mm-hmm. as he used to do way, way, way back in time. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he still got the style, he still got the vibe, man. Mm-hmm. I yeah, thought maybe I'm sure I'm wearing my hair. Yeah, yeah. You know, the thing is that. Um, uh, as, as as I was growing up, I always used to wear my cap backwards. Okay, it, it's something that I've uh, I've done since I was like uh, so young. All right, uh, I've got my cap. When I get home, I, literally, I just take my cap off and I'm putting them on the wall because I've got right. have had a cap collection for like forever. So, so like, how many caps do you have? What happens is that the caps some they disappear. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, when I when I'm when I'm when I'm moving around, uh-huh. if I see a cap. Or uh-huh. someone selling caps, I'm always asking them, Shall we my caps are the sealed? They go back, all right. And then they'll be like, ah, I'm dad, they'll look through their caps. If they've got a sealed one, uh-huh. then I'll, I'll buy it, and all right. Add it to my connection. Ah, nice. Yeah. So yeah. let's get to check out uh, some messages that are coming through on our on our WhatsApp platform number, which is 0712831172. So, in case you're joining us, I'm uh, chilling with other man David Shifuni say on the segment, Where are they now? So, this one's saying, uh, David, I p some face to you, I got I got pin roots, uh, Saruzai, and and uh, we are uh, my best songs. That's a message I came through from uh, La Costa in uh, Glenora. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you'd want to say something on uh, like, uh, yeah, speaking of that message. Yeah, you know, Sarud Zai and uh, the two songs, uh, Sarud Zai and Will, um, those those were actually uh, songs that, uh, Sarud Zai was one of the, the, the songs on my third album. Okay. That I actually recorded. Uh, I actually recorded that song in my bedroom. And um, it was, I just bought a brand new guitar mm-hmm. and um, an Ibanez. And uh, the the melody for Saradzai, I was playing it there and, and uh, I just decided I'm going to record this song tomorrow. So you had a studio at home? Yes, what happened is that uh, uh, Shamiso Studios kind of got acquired. Uh-huh. And during the time when they were looking for a new place to take the studio, uh-huh. Uh, I had started already recording my third album. Uh-huh. All right. And so it was at Gilbert's house. And then um, Gilbert said, no, look, before we take it to the new place, uh-huh. if you want to use it for some time and you can carry it and you and you got uh, cap- capacity to, to pick it up, you can uh-huh. pick it up. Uh-huh. So I picked it up, took it to my room. Uh-huh. And for, I think, about three months, right. I, had it, I had the whole studio in my bedroom and I was actually recording my album. So you you were recording yourself, or you'd hire someone to do the recordings for you? I was recording myself, um, being in the studio watching. I, I played keyboard, I played bass, I played uh, uh-huh. guitar, the, all these instruments, the saxophone. The, the music software is you were so very much well versed on how like to it, use so. the, the your flute fr- fruit loops. Yes, yeah, yeah, when I when I <laughs> cue bass, I see cue bass and reason. I I, I I I because of being in the studio. Uh-huh. And watching and, and just following since I was in IT as well. All right. I, I quickly figured it out and I and, and I'd been I'd been recording before just on you know the, the small radios we had in our houses. Uh-huh. Um, and so 
the concept of recording was okay so it was 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 there eventually when i got into the studio then it solidified so when i got the studio at home it was just a few uh, small things i needed to learn okay and then i recorded the the album with sarah zai some uh, few touch-ups and i uh, go to go yeah all right so this one saying uh thanks for bringing uh david jafuni say in the studio i liked his music it is innocent chombe it now kwanza four that's where the person is yeah, i love you. uh david's songs uh tunotena manyau uh waalis uh gutumpanda wana that's where uh this person is i had uh his cassette back then <laughs> <laughs> That's a message coming through from uh, uh, Joseph Solari and uh, Joseph is in, uh, in, uh, in, in Hatfield. That's where Joseph is. David Chifuyi say, Awoi! Anzi wa my my remera e zomgido mdara. Go on other days. Oh yeah, zomgido was awesome. I remember. You remember? Yeah, one, one, one of the years coming number one on, 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 the, on the charts. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh nice. And uh this one saying LT thanks for uh bringing David Chifunyi on the show. I'm going to And uh the person uh, wants me to play Ruwarango. I'll see if you can do that. Uh, that's our Prince Farai from our uh, old Magwegwe. Shout out to you all the way in uh, Bulawayo. That's where uh this person is. Uh thank you for getting in touch. So remember to also check us out on our Facebook page uh which is Power FM Zimbabwe. We are live on our Facebook page right now. If you just search for Power FM, FM. Uh, as Bobby can get to check out uh, the man that I have right here. That's uh, the man David Chifunyi. So, so we're going to take uh, a short break and uh, we'll be back after this. Chiba's Promotions in collaboration with the Conquering Family presents the long-awaited Soldier Love Commemoration Gala 12 noon to Pungwe, Saturday 6 August 2022 at Endimila Glamis Arena featuring Kila T, Sekalas, Freeman, Enzo Aisha, Dadza T, Toki Vibes, Windy President, Kina, Lady Squanda, Blot, Silent Killer, and many more. $5 early ticket, $10 VIP, $30 VVIP. Cheapest promotions, Rodzana Udzana. in the building. So time check it is 17 minutes away from uh, the news at exactly 8. It is uh, the segment we are there now and uh, the building. I'm chilling with uh, none other than uh, the legendary. That's uh, Mr. David Chifunyise. Yeah, Mr. Snapback. 
<laughs> uh, shout out to you, Mr. David. Thanks, man. Right, right. Uh, so, still got uh, some uh, couple of uh, messages that are coming through. Okay, let me get to see what this one is saying. Uh, hi, Tim said Diva Bude. I'm studio. I'm snoring a glass of my ear. Absolutely love that song. Love 10 in Chi Town. That's where this person is. Shout out to you, Love 10. Uh, thank you for getting in touch. Uh, I love uh, David Fuentes' song, Zagapenga. Thanks uh, for bringing him to the studio. That is uh, my Lily in Zengeza 1. All right. Uh, shout out to you, my Lily. Thank you for getting in touch all the way in uh, Zengeza 1. So how does that make you feel every time when uh, the people are saying, uh, you know, the, those kind of words? You know, there's no greater honor than that, hey, uh, as a musician to say, to, to, to realize that your, your, your music is actually touching people. Uh-huh. And um, it actually makes you realize that I need to give the, the, the people some more. And uh-huh. um, that's, I think, what pushes me to want to record the tracks that I've already written now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That is what pushes you to do more. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Now, so how many albums do you have uh, inside your name, like to, uh, to date? Today I've got, uh, to date, I've got four albums. Uh-huh. Um, uh, there's Tayane, then I did uh, the private collection. Uh-huh. Um, and uh, if you can tell us uh, the gems which are part of the private collection. Um, the the private collection is on which I do wanna Sarudzai. Okay. Um, uh, I did songs like I think Glass of My Hair was there as well. Okay. Um, it also had Chimbo Cherudo, which was a gospel song that uh, that I, I I personally like as well. Uh huh. Um, I think Glass of My Hair was on that album as well. All right. Yeah, Glass of My Hair was on that album. And uh, yeah. on to the third album. Um, that album I called Classics Volume One. Okay. Where where basically what I did is that um, uh, I I took songs from my previous albums, uh-huh. added a few songs on there. Uh huh. Um, it was it was almost just an album just to to say um, uh, there's a new generation of people uh-huh. that haven't heard these songs from the beginning. So uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm going to take the classics that I that that were on each album and put them on on that album. Okay, and uh, which year did it come out? Um, I'm so bad at years that 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 uh, that album came out, but it was it was definitely. Um, I think it might have been 20, 2010, I think. I'm 2010? Not sure. yeah, I, I, okay. Yeah, one, one, one of those is just before that or just after that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so looking at the albums that you did after Taoya Nai, mm-hmm. uh, putting them on a scale, uh, can you safely say that uh, they did some uh, things for you or the, the, the reception was different? Um. I think the reception was, I, I wouldn't say it was different because I think Tari and I did a lot of work in terms of educating the market about the, the music that I did. Uh-huh. So the generation that listened to that when uh, the private collection came out, uh-huh. they immediately went and bought that cassette as well. Uh-huh. Um, but I think the the change as an artist, I was morphing into a person who was now delivering um, uh, on the artistic side, not just what people, what I thought people wanted to hear, uh-huh. but I was delivering on the artistic side. So I was starting to explore so different dynamics of music. Uh-huh. So it wasn't just uh, hip hop, or but a lot of a lot of uh, gospel songs uh, were, were there as well. So, and there's some people today that uh, loved the the following albums because of the slower songs, the the songs that were not the ordinary songs. Okay. So the reception, I would say, was uh, was still good, but it was more mature than than the album. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, nice. So I also did the the theme song for one of the most popular soppies right here in the country. Uh, that was uh, well, Studio Two Six Three. Yeah, yeah. 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 W- w- which year was that? Um, I can't remember the year, but it, it was the um. I'm really bad at years, at all right, dates. All right. But um, it was it was just after Tayane was released. That's when they started doing the Studio Two Six Three um, show. Uh-huh. So I was contacted. Uh, can you can you come up with something uh-huh. uh, that will capture the, the the country? That will capture. Um, 
aspects of the country and and uh, and I just I just went to work and 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 uh, penned that song that be, then became the Sick Tune. Yeah? Uh-huh. yeah, but it was um, it was an exciting time because um, I think it was also one of the shows that then really made it onto television. So it also just helped in in, in pushing my publicity. Yeah. Okay. So how did you become part of uh, that deal? That is. Um, I I don't know how they got my number. Uh, oh, yeah. uh-huh. But um, I just I just then got a call saying that uh, can you can you come to PSI? We want to speak to you about some music. So I think it must have been because my music was hot at that time. Uh-huh. And then the 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 then, then you know you're gonna ask who who is a hot artist at the moment, and then they people find you. All right. Yeah. I thought maybe Mama had told you what I'm done. You had to just be good or uh, nothing was going to happen. Okay, because yeah. I believe uh, there, there were so many artists in the industry uh, during that time. Yeah. But why David Chifunyise out of all those artists? Yeah, I think I think uh, what I'll probably say is that in, in music there is a a an age where you will have um, maximum exposure. So I think that that those couple of years were the years I had maximum exposure in terms of music. Mm-hmm. I was playing on the radio every day. I was uh-huh. I was doing uh, I was performing at uh, at Anami Zimbabwe. I was doing uh, a live band doing shows. Uh-huh. So the visibility was very high. Uh-huh. So during that time, you are going to have people who are going to um, commercialize on that. Mm-hmm. to make to to create strategic partnerships that work best for everybody mm-hmm. and that's how things happen so you so you've got a specific a certain momentum that's happening mm-hmm. that um uh smart smart organizations are going to jump onto mm-hmm. um it just makes it just makes sense uh, market marketing wise all right so how long did it took for you to pen down that song that uh studio 263 jam if you can remember uh I think I think it took me about a day. A day? Uh, it took me about a day. At that time I had the studio uh in my At place home. as well. Okay. So I just got home and I was like, um um the the original name was supposed to be Wimbai. Uh-huh. So uh I, I, I penned a song called Wimbai and then I submitted it and then, then they said, uh, it's a beautiful song but we've changed the name. It's now Studio Two Six Three. I was like, I oh, know that's okay. So then I just went and and just uh, changed a couple of words. And okay. Studio Two Sixty was born, but I think it was just probably a day okay. because I had studio and and I'll be playing around with it. Studio. So, so is it the three. one which goes like Vimbai, Vimbai? Yeah, exactly. Vimbai, Vimbai. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that, that's exactly. the one. I eventually put that in the in the background of like like the background music when when they needed to put. Uh-huh. background music uh-huh. i just submitted very various different snippets okay so that one was was actually the original uh was going to be the sick tune uh-huh. yeah. for for the soapy for the soapy all right and then they changed the name so again. you made some money i was like uh, yeah, psi paid quite a bit of money and uh, yeah yeah they did all right uh nice one so uh, let's see if we can uh, get to take a couple of uh, calls right here zero two four two four nine eight six five two and five four if you want to talk to the man uh that is right here in the studio we're talking about uh, the man david chifunyi say yeah that's the man that i'm chilling with uh tonight for the segment where are they now so you can also get to check us out on our facebook page which is power fm uh zimbabwe yeah that's we can also get to check us out yeah so some some people are saying that uh, you've gone quiet. Manyara mm. Dara cannot be we we don't know. Yeah, you know you know, um I know I know people say I know that's a common common saying in Zimbabwe, but <laughs> a part of musician and I know what's what's the saying? What's the common saying? And uh, you you are uh, yeah, yeah. okay. and, and people say where where have you been? But I think what happens is that um, in 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 your life that you go through certain stages, uh-huh. the creativity that you have mm-hmm. really really uh, diminishes if you're if you're living your life and applying, especially if you've got your instrument at home and you're always playing. Uh-huh. So I've got, I mean, 
Uh, I've always been recording with with uh, in, in the, at home we with with uh, with my with my with my kids like uh, the one I'm here with in the studio, Minus uh-huh. uh, or Drill. Uh, uh-huh. He also plays. He's, he plays guitar better than me now. Is it? Yeah. So so um, we're always playing. Uh, so the music is always there. Uh-huh. The unfortunate thing is that although the music is there, it's only people in the house. That are hearing it and that, that that sing along and jive to it. Why? Why? So what happens is that um, uh, the kind of work I do in computers and the like, uh-huh. you've got a conflict of interest when you start when you're very popular. Uh-huh. So there are certain uh, certain places where it becomes difficult for you to go. So every time I release a song, get super popular, it your popularity goes up, uh-huh. and then corporate wise. Um, the offices that you want to be going into, you know, day to day to be able to strike your deals and stuff become very difficult to go into because uh, as you're getting there, everybody's wanting to get autographs and things like that. So you're, you've got a very high public profile uh-huh. when, you're, when you're moving around. All right. Uh, but, but, but are you still releasing music as you used to way back in time? What has happened is that uh, my the studio I was I was signed to Shamiso mm-hmm. is now in South Africa. They've also signed a big deal. Okay. Uh, so they've signed me back onto the label. So I'm going to be releasing my next album uh, on Shamiso again. Okay. So but, yeah. But, 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 that is what all the artists who comes through on the show. They, that is what they say. That is what yeah, all of them yeah, say. Yeah. Uh, but, all right. Well, I think maybe it also might be that music changes. Music uh-huh. is dynamic. It moves um, with time. It moves with time. Yeah. So, so um, even if you're not also listening to the music that is trending, is, is trending yeah, and able to also put your own feeling to that music. Not not that you're you're now letting the music dictate to you what mm-hmm, mm-hmm. your artistic expression of it, mm-hmm. but you are actually listening to the music, understanding this is a different vibe. Mm-hmm. It's like singing hip hop and singing on a on a jazz bass line. Mm-hmm. It's just different. And so if you're if you're an artist that is able to to um, adjust and and put your own take of creativity on a different track, it comes out. Okay, uh, so can we simply say that uh, you guys are failing to to catch up with uh, the trend and well, what's going on? Because it seems uh-huh. like uh, with most of you guys, uh-huh. uh, it, it, it is looking like it's so very difficult for you to come back to be the people that you used to be way back in time. Yeah, yeah. That, that's how I'm seeing it. So I I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, you know, it's it's a it's a it's a difficult question. The 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 the. The thing is that the generation that uh, that we sang to um, is a generation that's usually, that's working now. <coughs> All right. Um, so and they're also hungry for the same music we used to give them. Um, I think where the failure is is that the artists that used to sing are so busy with life uh-huh. that they don't get time to come and deliver the music back to the people. Uh-huh. Because if if I was to say there's a show that I'll get plug CDs myself for Androids, you know. Uh, Rocky, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, that's the generation. Uh-huh. If you had to put that show on, the people who come and do the paying are the generation that used to listen to that. Right. And that that show is going to be full. So the the people who listen to it are there, but the artists are busy in life. Doing some other things. Doing some other things that they don't get the time to say, guys, get me with a show. All right, four nine eight six five ten five four zero two four two. That's how they call for Harari. If you want to call us right here in the studio, zero two four two four nine eight six five two and five four. If you want to talk to the man, David Chifunye, say right here in the studio. It's only th- three minutes uh, before we get to check out uh, the news. And exactly eight, these are the segment. Where are they now? Let's get to chit chat with uh, the man. Steve. Okay, so let's go check out who we have on the line. The Paul FM. Yeah, hello. Hello, hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, uh, do you want to talk to the man David? Alrighty, it seems like we've lost that call. I keep trying 4986525454. Uh, that is uh, the WhatsApp platform number right here in the studio. So there's a message that I uh, saw uh, saying that uh, the Tawianai video was uh, shot in Glenview. How far is that? Yeah, it was. It was, it was a GB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, nice. Uh, thank you for getting time. 0242 
Uh, this one let's get you live right here in the studio. Okay, let's get to check out uh, what this one is saying right here. And it's on Facebook, it is Boss Prince uh, Bumira JMT Barracks. That's where the person is. Okay, thanks, Slim Daddy, for bringing uh, the man in the studio. Pleasure knowing he's still around, and I enjoyed I enjoyed his music. Keep well, that's what uh, this message is saying. Okay, the phone lines are going crazy. Let's get to check out who we have right here. A point for him. Hello, LT. Hello, hi, how are you? I'm okay. Right, uh, do you want to talk to the man, David? Yes. Okay, yes. you can go ahead uh, real quick. Hello, David. Hi, how are you? I'm okay. Uh, I actually remember that you are busy, but I can go back and live to Yeah. Ah, wonderful. Ah, thank you for that support. Eh? Bye. Okay, bye, bye, bye to you. Thank, thank you for getting in touch. Phone answer 5254. Point Hello, how are you? I'm all right. Uh, how are you doing, sir? I'm, I'm good. Well. Okay, you, do you want to talk to the man, David? Yes, yes, Look, yes. Okay. I just like the way the song will, 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 will. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Will. Uh, that one is a great song. Thanks so much. You know, you know the, that song was... Um, was very close to my heart because of the things that were happening at that time. So when I was asked by Wills and Inheritance to write that song, um, I needed to give it a, a story so that people understood the importance of Kunyorama Wills. And um, it's, it's so important and uh, I think it's a message that needs to be said again, Mazan. Okay, okay, okay. I understand. I, I, I just like the song. Oh, Even every time I play it. Thank you so much. Thanks. I appreciate well, that support. All right. Thank you for getting in touch. Power FM. All righty. It seems like we've lost that caller. So I guess we got the news coming up shortly. This are uh, the news at 8. But uh, the phones are still ringing, ringing, ringing. <laughs> Power FM. Good day. How are you? Um, all right. Uh, how are you doing yourself? <laughs> Don't worry. Two those guys in size also. Thank you so much. Ah, thank you. I appreciate that support. Thank you so much. Paul FM. LT, My guy, how are you? Ah, uh, boy, good. Right, go ahead and uh, talk to Diva. Just a second. Ah, I'm going to go to the I'm going to go to the city feeders. Ah, don't know why. I don't got it. We're, we're, we're bringing some even better stuff. Don't know why. I'm going to go to the city feeders. Ah, thanks, my dad. All right, thank you for getting in touch. Hey yeah. guys, out for the news at eight. I have to wait for this.